India Anderson. I am 23 years old and I currently live in Houston, Texas. So I'm just gonna get straight to it. <laughs> While traveling, I think and I thought about it before making this video, I think that I would use Bumble BFF and Bumble Biz more so than dating and I'm gonna get to each one of those points. So firstly, Bumble BFF. I am a communicative person, I am extroverted, I like to go out with people, I like to have fun. So, while traveling, you know, obviously I don't know everybody in different countries that I'd be going to, so I would be able to swipe and feel comfortable enough to link up with somebody because they've been vetted, you know, just as me, and have their background checked just as me, and we can have fun and do things together, like just swipe and have people of the same interest, be like, oh, hey, you want to go get drinks, you want to go to the beach, you want to go so-and-so while I'm in town, and then also while we're out still giving that opportunity to other people hey this is how we met why don't you guys get on there and you can hang out with some friends too and just making it something more normal and more comfortable because a lot of apps you know guys can shoot first or or you know obviously women would be shooting first if that was their option but it seems more comfortable for a woman to take that first step so that she can be on her terms because you know things happen um, next would be the BF, would be the Bumble Biz. I want to be a philanthropist. In order for me to be a philanthropist, I have to have a circle of people that I can give to. I have to find charities and corporations and networking events and stuff like that. So I feel like while using the Bumble, the Bumble Biz portion of the app while traveling, I can expand it, uh, my networking further than just my immediate community. I can find people in different countries to give to and still continue and build a relationship on top of that, which will give me even more reason to travel back to that same place and still build that relationship. So I think that one is so, so important for me as building my career as a philanthropist and building a community of people around the world instead of just in your background, like in your backyard, I'm sorry. And then the bubble dating, the bubble dating is kind of tricky for me because I'm currently not dating and but if i was to be dating i know that it would be the biggest part about that about the bumble dating portion is that the women can choose first i know i said that part already but that's the biggest thing because while you're on dating apps guys normally shoot first because you know that's just the gender roles that we've appropriated to but this the women get to message first and have the opportunity to have the control over who they communicate with so nobody you wouldn't feel like anyone's praying over you um and then also that you know that that's what that person looks like you know you're not getting catfished or anything like that because I, I mean like that's a real thing obviously there was a show with multiple seasons that was catfishing people and i think that's a good thing about it is that that plane to date somebody on that's not on an unknown territory like maybe maybe which is like if you go somewhere maybe this is actually going to be a blind date but you know i think that part about the app would be so beneficial to someone who is dating while traveling so that they can feel comfortable and safe enough to actually date and those are the reasons and those are the ways that i will use each portion while traveling and i hope that you guys pick me because i would love to go and i would love to experience the world because that is one of my dreams thank you so much bye